HIV is a virus that attacks human body's CD4 cells in the immune system, thus weakening its defense against infections. The virus leverages host cell to proliferation and damage the CD4 cells. When CD4 levels dip under 200, the person in question will be diagnosed with AIDS. By 2019, there had been 38 million HIV carriers globally, with 25.6 million from Africa. Once infected with HIV, a number of biomarkers appear in the blood, such as HIV RNA, HIV P24 antigen, and related antibodies, which can be used to detect HIV infection. However, these markers have to reach a certain level before they can be accurately detected. The time between HIV infection and the detection of these HIV biomarkers is called window period. For clinical laboratories, it is a key element to assess the performance of the assays. HIV serology testing has gone through four generations of evolution in over 30 years. The first generation assay, focusing on HIV-1, was launched in 1985 with low specificity and a window period of over 40 days. In 1987, the second generation was developed. It has higher sensitivity and specificity, and the window period drops to 33 to 35 days. And in 1994, the third generation was designed on sandwich format, employing another viral antigen to replace the second antibody. The fourth generation assay came into being in 1997. It is able to capture both the antibodies and the P24 antigen of HIV, achieving higher sensitivity and specificity, and it shortens the window period to within 18 days. Compared with the previous three generations, the fourth generation HIV test is more desirable for detecting HIV infection. In fact, it is included in the latest algorithm for HIV testing in most countries. Clinical laboratories employ the fourth-generation HIV assay for screening purpose. Once reactive results are obtained, the samples will be sent to designated laboratories, such as those at the Center for Disease Control for confirmation. Thanks to the outstanding performance, the CE List A certified fourth-generation HIV tests are recommended as the first choice for initial screening.